Hello everyone and welcome back once again to 19th century Canada. My name is Dorian Blacklake and today we are gonna try again. I've tried already a couple of times this mission but I'm starting the video new so you don't have to go through how I set the traps. I'll just uh, quickly tell you how I've set the traps and that way we can move along. So I've put a firewall here to make him go this way. I put a spike trap here to make them follow me and die with a spike trap. Then these two spike traps, uh, wolf traps, will kill two wolves, the grand werewolves and the two werewolves here will come to the bait and the rest of the wolves. They will die, some of them, and then I have a explosive barrel over here that will explode to hopefully, that's my touch. <laughs> to hopefully kill the Grand Werewolves, and then I just have to deal with these little ones. <clears throat> now, uh, I didn't figure this out on, on my own. I, I'm a big boy, so I know when something is too much, and I've checked the strategy hints for this night, at least. So, with that out of the way, and um, I believe I have potions on myself, I do. I got three skill points now as well because it turns out that even if you fail you still get experience so that is really good to know that is really good to know and I'm going to get this trap to do damage also to werewolves and grand werewolves then I'm going to get because I'm using Jack wrong, I need to use more traps with him. If I take this, my explosive barrel will cost a little bit less. And I think I need to get my buildings a little bit stronger as well. Your sacred tree has two additional charges. All right, I haven't discovered the sacred tree yet. So this, uh, this helps you realize that I've been failing a lot. If I'm already up here, like a lot. The magic effect of Wayside Crosses lasts an additional 20 seconds for a total of 60. Whoa, that's good. This is only one point. Your firewall now frightens the will o wisp as well. Okay. Marksmanship. Increases the accuracy. Ooh. Quicker reloading and increases the accuracy to 100%. Yeah, that's right. We are taking that. Okay, without further ado, let's get on with the night and hope for the best. All right. Between the two episodes, <laughs> this is officially uh, attempt 20. So, oh wow. Well. well, I can be, I can be really patient when I want. Not very good at tactics, maybe, but I can be persistent. Very persistent. Okay. They should go over to the trap and kill themselves. And now I need to wait for this one. But I set the trap for him. Come on, come on. You guys down in the north die. You did. You did. Thank you. Now, your turn. Now, he is scared because I bought a new necklace from the Indian village. That makes me uh, makes me scarier. All right, bet. I bet I look scary right now after 20 tries. <laughs> I'm salty as hell. But I'm big enough to big enough to uh, to recognize it. I fail a lot, so I don't want you guys to think that I'm doing this on first try. You know, if I say this is try X number, it means really that. Okay, did they? No, 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 no. Nice. No! Bam! You mother! 
Stay down! Freaking... Die! 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 Come on! Okay, 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 okay. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Now I just need to be really, 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 really quick. Come on, Jack. You need to get to that home. And deal with those little... There we go. Yeah. Pray. Oh, man. Am I finally gonna do it after so many tries? Now, this is not the perfect axe to do this. But it's what I have. Come on, come on. Kill it. Oh, yes. Now, this one is hiding here. But he's alone, so he's more manageable. Oh, man. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired and he's accurate. <laughs> Little... Ah, oh, no. Just need to manage my my stamina. And don't give him time to hide. Nice. No. Oh my god, finally. Yes, Jack! You did it! Wow, it really did make me work for my money this time. This mission was insane. It was a real test. Three dollars and thirty-seven cents. It was a real test of my patience. Woo! You are big, Jack. You are big. All right. <clears throat> Windigo. It is said that during particularly long and arduous winters, Pamin could could occur in the Inu tribes and that some warriors turned to cannibalism, much to their regret, because to punish this immoral behavior, the spirits of nature changed their heart in, and their bones to ice, turning them into an abominable monster, perpetually tormented inside by an insatiable hunger for human flesh. Their characteristics are very resistant to non-silver personal weapons, it has an icy breath, Recommended traps are ballista, explosive barrels, and firewall and uh, mortars. Wow. I'm even gonna get a mortar. Chapter 13 Blizzard and Windigos, December 17, 1858. Jack, your friend is back to see us. <laughs> Quay, have you seen Mishta Macheshu? the shaman of our tribe. I sent him here yesterday to warn you of a great peril, and I haven't seen him since. With that blizzard out there, I'll bet he's lost in the forest. Hmm, not likely. Great Fox knows better than anyone how to travel in a storm. In any case, it's too late now to prepare for the coming of the Windigo. Me, I have to find Mr. Mechishu as quickly as possible. Yeah. Okay. Well, this looks to me like a job for Joey. You fall on your noggin or something, brother. I'm the oldest, so I'm the one that goes. What you can do is take care of barricading the cabin real good, and if our sister keeps raving, put on the pine tar poultice I just prepared for her. If you say so, Jack. <laughs> but you see oh there is a video the ballista the ballista's placement is done in two steps place the ballista where you like then orient it with the mouse while you're nearby press E to use the ballista left click to fire the ballista All right, that was a really short video, so I'll leave it in. Um, I was trying to say that uh, even if uh, Josie or uh, Jos, Josie 
it's a lot bigger than Jack. You can see the respect he has for Jack because he is the oldest. Um, you know, much thinner, much weaker, obviously, uh, physically, but you see he has the respect. And now we have Ballista. All right. This is going to be a insane, probably. Is this a Windigo? Yeah, this is a Windigo. Okay. This, yeah, this. Oh, man, more Windigos. So I think I'm gonna try this one on the next episode because I've been already trying to do this one for, for a good while. I hope that you have enjoyed the video and if you have you can like and subscribe. You can leave a comment down in the comment sections if you feel like it with how things are going. I'm suffering here to, to get through some of these missions but it's all worth it. I like the game and I like the, the story so it's not, um, it's not a chore. I like, I like the game. Some of the missions are just, <laughs> just freaking insane. But the game is great. I like the story. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Till then, you have a great day.